Hi, I'm Petri Huhtinen from Optomed. Today we will guide you through the following three topics. Setting up Optomed Aurora and the connections, capturing good retinal images, preliminary image analysis and transferring of the images. Optimate Aurora is delivered with its tailor-made briefcase that contains everything you need. Camera, retinal module, anterior module, charging station, USB cable, power supply, eye cups, batteries, USB flash drive, cleaning cloth, and the user manual. It is best to start the installation with the charging station and the power supply and USB cables. The cables are connected on the bottom of the charging station. Next, we connect the retinal module to the camera and one of the eye cups to the retinal module. The last step is to install the battery into the camera. The other battery can be stored on the charging station. The design of the device is simplified to make it easy to use. There is a dual action shutter button for image capture. Eject button to detach the optics module. Optoroller for navigation. And power and back buttons. The LEDs show the status of the charging. When the power is turned on, it takes a short while to start the system. Once the system is ready, turning or pressing the optoroller shows the menu of the key parameters on the bottom of the screen. Fixation target, brightness, focus mode, patient, and settings. On the top of the screen, there are icons showing the selected settings and the status of the battery and wireless connection. Optimate Aurora can be connected to a computer using the USB cable of the charging station or wirelessly. When using the cable, the images will be transferred automatically when the camera is set on the charging station. This time we will be using wireless connection with a dedicated software provided by Optimate. To set up the wireless connection, we go to the settings menu and select the camera and then wireless. There, first we turn on the wireless and then select one of the two options, access point mode or network mode. Access point mode creates the connection between the camera and the client software, whereas network mode utilizes the wireless networks available. This time we select network mode. Connection details can be checked from the menu. The wireless connection can be disconnected from the camera's wireless menu by clicking Wireless on off or from the client software by selecting Disconnect. We have now learned to set up Optimate Aurora and connect the device to a computer using wireless connection. We are now ready to start capturing images. We will show you next how to take good retinal images. Today's portable Fundus cameras, like Optimate Aurora, are technically equal to a typical tabletop camera. However, we do acknowledge that taking an image with portable camera is different compared to a tabletop camera. 
Still, we do know that with proper training and some exercise and practice, one will learn to take good images. For optimal imaging conditions, it is good to dim the lights and remember the importance of hygiene. First, we select the following parameters. Patient is used to create a new folder for images of each patient. Opteroller is used to select one of the nine fixation targets. The fixation target in the middle is selected to take maculocentric images. Optimate Aurora has a new auto exposure feature that adjusts the brightness automatically. Focus mode is selected also with Opteroller. In this video, we use both autofocus and manual focusing. When taking an image with Optimate Aurora, one must pay attention to the positioning of both the examiner and the patient. For optimal results, there should be a linear alignment between the examiner's eyes, camera and patient's eyes. It is also important that the patient stays still and covers one of the eyes with hand. Covering instead of closing the other eye helps in two ways. It dilates the pupil being imaged and it is easier to keep the eye wide open for imaging when both eyes are open. Hold the camera with one hand and support the optics module with the other, keeping the hand against the patient's forehead. Start approaching the eye from about 10 cm distance. There are guiding frames on the screen, which are red until the camera is in the right distance. Keep the pupil in the center of the display and approach until you can see the reflection from the retina, which appears grayish. Get slowly closer while keeping the view of the retina in the center of the display and close in until it fully fills the viewing area. If adjustment is needed, it is recommended to adjust the device with the hand supporting the optics module. Use only very small movements as it is easy to lose the target. If the view is lost, just withdraw the camera a few centimeters and realign to the pupil. When the frames turn into green, move the camera approximately one millimeter forward to get in the right distance. When using autofocus, press the shutter halfway to activate it red square appears on the screen. The color of the square indicates to the examiner when the image is in focus. So, when the square turns into green, the image is in focus and image can be captured by pressing the shutter. As we have shown here, taking a good image with Optimate Aurora is simple. One just has to pay attention to the camera settings and a few key variables when taking the image. After capturing the image, the first analysis can be done on the camera display. One can mark left or right eye, zoom in or delete the image. In addition to checking the image quality, Optimate Aurora can also provide instant feedback about the technical quality of the image. The camera displays traffic lights to comment on possible reflections and the sharpness and brightness of the image. Let's take a look at some poor quality images and discuss about possible corrections. Sometimes there are reflections in the image. The location of the reflection may indicate the root cause. Namely, the imaging distance has been too long if the reflection is on the bottom of the image. On the other hand, the camera has been too close if the reflection appears on the top of the image. Reflections can be avoided in many cases by paying close attention to the guiding frames, focusing on the patient's stable position and holding the camera steady throughout the image capturing procedure. 
the images might be out of focus. The simple way to avoid this is to use autofocus. Nevertheless, if the use of autofocus is not an option, then one can manually check the refraction value, which should be the same as patient's refraction. In addition to that, the patient should be reminded to fixate to the target when the image is taken. The brightness should always be adjusted either manually or automatically based on the eye pigmentation of the patient. When images are too bright or dark, one should check the brightness setting first. Also, the imaging conditions may affect. Therefore, it is good to dim the lighting of the room whenever possible. When the image is approved, it can be copied to the computer by simply selecting Exit Preview. The image is then transferred automatically using the wireless connection. The other option is to place the camera on the charging station and the image is transferred through the USB cable. Now the camera is ready for the next image of the same patient or the next patient after creating a new patient folder. We have covered three key topics in this training. How to set up Optimate Aurora, how to take good retinal images and how to analyze the images. Following the instructions given in this video will help you build confidence in retinal imaging. However, it is still very important to read the user manual, which contains more detailed information about the device and its use. We at Optimate hope that you enjoy using Optimate Aurora and trust that it will help you in your daily work. Thank you for your attention.